What's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another video. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Kavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a male skin retouching once again. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit of my tips and tricks of how I achieve a very clean and natural result uh, you know when I'm retouching male skin so let's get right into it. So my first thing is when I'm retouching is to you know zoom in and analyze what needs to be done Vincent has absolutely amazing skin, very consistent in texture and color and pigmentation. So I'm literally going to be, you know, uh, moving very, very like minimum. So what we're going to do is right now go into the spot heal tool right here. And I'm going to just start gently brushing it around areas that are, you know, um, kind of like noticeable and that I just want to diminish and remove. And as I'm doing that, you'll see that I'm kind of like going from the top to the bottom. And I stress that it's so important to actually, you know, kind of get a consistent like workflow. I think my whole process is I'll start from the top of the head and just start going and working my way down. And then I'll zoom out a little bit as well. It's all in preparation and what you're doing to get the final, you know, good result when you're starting to go into the frequency separation and other retouching techniques. So we have very quick retouch. All right, so we're just, you know, speeding up with this result right here and just trying to get anything that's noticeable to be gone. So we're going to move it down a little bit. And I'm just going to zoom in just a tiny bit to the face. Well, actually, I'm going to zoom out first just to see where I am so far. So we're going to do a quick before and after. And as you can see, it's really not that much that we need to remove in this process. So I'm going to just go in a little bit closer. And we're going to start once again diminishing some of these results. Alrighty, so I'm loving what I'm seeing. The skin is very good. I like that it's still natural and it has, you know, the inconsistencies in it. But it's, you know, it, I love I love skin to look realistic and still have texture, but at the same time, still be clean. So what I'm going to do now is go into the black and whites. I'm going to bring my reds all the way down a tad, and as you see, when I start to bring those reds down these little areas that need to be corrected anything that is dark you uh, dodge anything that is light you burn so i'm going to go down to the background layer and i am going to go over here to the dodge tool change my brush stroke and i'm just going to start lightly brushing in these areas Right, I'm going to move this up just a tad. I'm brushing in these particular areas. Here, I'll zoom out for you guys just so you'll see a little bit of what I did and what I'm doing. So here's a quick before and after. And what I'm going to do is then Blow this up just a tiny bit. 
and just start rushing in these areas as well. I'm going to uh, cut this off just to see. I'll let you guys see what I've done so far. All right. So I like what I have right now. So I'm going to go over here to the background layer and then I am going to then go into the next portion of this, which is the frequency separation. I'm going to go over to the actions. I use a software called um, Retouching Essentials Package. So what I'm going to do is go to the frequency separation, advanced frequency separation. I'm going to play and run that action. Then I am going to just move this down a little bit go over to the high frequency separation and deselect that click the low frequency separation go back over here to my mix brush tool and when you do this make sure this is deselected so you're literally not grabbing anything it's a clear in blank space and I'm just going to then go and start you know setting up my settings right here you can always move the wets I like to keep it at five the loads, the mix, and I like to keep the flow a little bit around like 70 as well. So after I start doing this, I'm going to then start like brushing around this particular setting. And not doing a lot, just controlling my brush stroke. We're just making sure it's consistent and even in the spread of what I'm doing. Remember, a little goes a long way, so you don't want to apply too much pressure, but at the same time, you want to at least make the effect kind of, you know, do its thing. All right, so I'm going to select this again and show you guys a little bit of a before and after. So this is a quick before and this is the after. I'm going to zoom out just a tad. And here's a quick before from the very beginning and after. Beautiful. Very clean. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is start just removing these areas and so on and so forth. Alright, perfect. It's beautiful. Okay, so now. I'm going to go right back into the frequency, uh, the sorry, the retouching the centrist pack. I'm going to do the skin smoothening and just very do a very little of that. And just start lightly brushing around certain areas with a bigger brush stroke, but at the same time with a light brush to that. All right, there we go. Show a little bit of what I've done so far. Very little in the results, but it all makes a difference when you get down to the final product. Okay, so I love what I've, I've, got, I've gotten so far. I don't want to like really, you know, overdo it. So what I am going to do is then just go right back into analyzing just a little bit more of what I could do. If I see anything I want to remove, I can just go ahead and do that. 
but my next process is the color grading aspect and I am going to do a simple color grading action and go straight into black and whites. I want to play with these tones a little bit. I'm going to go up to the brightness, brighten this up a little bit and add a little contrast to just start popping it out. Like that, that's beautiful. It's very strong, it's very focused, but at the same time, it's soft, and I love that. All right, let's check off focus. Nice. Let's see, let's remove that. Okay, so I'm going to move it back just a tiny bit. And I'm going to show you where I am so far versus where I started. So here's a quick before, after. I think I kind of want to crop this, but when you're placing it on Instagram, it kind of does a funky little, you know, crop factor. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is, and then I'll just, you know, do it on whatever social media platform I uh, get on. But as you can see, this is where we are now. Let's see. And right now, all I'm doing is really just kind of playing with some of the tones. See how it's changing as I'm, like, moving it around. Let's see, where is it? What I'm looking for? There we There we go. All right, and I'm going to do one more brightness and we're good. What I have and I'm pleased with the results. So again, this is a quick before and a quick after. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop male skin retouching tutorial. I wanted to be able to provide a result that was very natural to the beginning process of, of what I started, but at the same time, not doing too much. And I'm pleased with these results. So definitely stay tuned for more results like this. And I will see you right back in the next